Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design the RCC slab culvert by limit state method. We have already designed the box culvert design and uh, generally uh, if we have a hard strata at the bottom of the slab then we go for the RCC slab culvert and that is economical in respect to the box culvert design. So we have to input our data in these pink cells and uh, uh, design of the RCC design slab culvert having the following data width of the bridge this is the vehicular movement and width of the bridge is given that is 12 meter exposure condition is moderate and the clear span is 5 meter that is a clear span 5 meter clear span bearing width that is these are the bearings abutments we called uh, 400 mm and the vehicle live load is IRC a track vehicle for which we are designing Thickness of the bearing code is 56 mm and use M20 and FE415. So we have to put our data in these pink cells. Firstly, we will calculate the effective width, effective span of the culvert. By these formulas, effective span will be calculated. Next, the designing bending moment per meter width of the slab for which we will calculate the dead load bending moment, dead load bending moment in the next step and the live load bending moment in another step. For tracked EA vehicle, we will calculate the effective length of dispersal and effective net effective width of the dispersal. Then we will calculate the impact factor because the load is a moving load and uh, which will be a dynamic load. So impact factor and the live load bending moment will be calculated. Check for the depth will be there and in the next step area of the main tension steel and area of the distribution steel. And finally the detailing of the RCC slab culvert will be there. Let's start. Okay, we have a RCC DAC, DAC slab culvert. Width of the bridge is 12 meter. So width of the slab culvert is 12 meter. Length of the slab culvert is 5 meter. And bearing width is 400 mm. And thickness of the bearing coat is 56 mm. And FCK is M25. And FI is 415. Right. Next, uh, you will see, mm, let's calculate the effective span of the culvert. Let's assume the overall depth of the slab. We have to assume the overall depth. Overall depth, we have assumed 550 mm. Let's assume and diameter of the bar 20 mm and clear cover. We have assumed suppose 50 mm clear cover. Now you can see that effective depth is capital D overall depth minus clear cover minus dia by 2. 490 mm is the effective depth. And effective span is clear span plus effective depth for 5.49 because we have clear span is 5 meter and clear span plus bearing 5.4. So whichever is less is calculated as L effective. Now you can see the next step design of the bending moment. We have to calculate the bending moment to calculate the area of the steel. So dead load bending moment is MDL. So weight of the slab is thickness of the slab into 25 m. This is thickness of slab is 550 mm we have assumed 13.75 wearing coat uh, weight of the wearing coat is uh, wearing coat thickness that is 56 mm into uh, the unit weight 22 kilo newton per meter cube now the total dead load is add up 14.98 and the dead load bending moment is by this formula w dead load into l effective square l effective we have already calculated for 5.40 and this is 54.61 now the dead load shear force is 30 by this formula 37.46 now live load bending moment we have to calculate for IRC AA track vehicle uh, in case of live load bending moment we have to calculate the effective length of the dispersion because if the tracked vehicle is moving in this direction so length of the dispersion this is the tracked vehicle and the contact area is 3.6 meter and the formula is for the effective length 3.6 plus 2 times of depth of the slab plus thickness of bearing coat. So this formula 4.812 is the length of dispersion. Now we will calculate the net effective width of dispersion, effective width of dispersion in, in this direction. So if the load is moving in this direction, so effective width of the dispersion we have to calculate. So you have to see this is very important step. BD is BEF by 2. What is BEF? The effective width of the dispersion plus 2.05. 2.505 is the distance between these two wheels and BEF by 2 again BEF by 2, right? 
so what is BEF BEF is the effective width of this person from IRC uh, 21 clause number this this formula is alpha a 1 minus a by L naught plus B1 what is alpha alpha we have to calculate by B by L naught you can see this table in IRC so B by L naught is alpha so in this case B is the effective width width of the slab and L naught is the this much L effective 5.40 so B by L naught is 2.20 so we have to this is greater than 2 okay you can see if this is greater than 2 you can directly take the value as 3 no need of interpolation now distance of the center of gravity A is L naught by 2 center of gravity of concentrated load from the nearest support so A is total 5.4 divided by 2 2.7 B1 is 0.85 that is the track vehicle width plus 2 times of WC WC is the wearing course so this is calculated BEF is calculated 5.01 now if BEF by 2 is less than this this is the BEF by 2 if BEF by 2 is less than available space then we will take the BEF by 2 otherwise available space will be taken up right so BEF by 2 is 2.51 available space is 2.175 so you have to take in this direction 2.175 because B available space is less than BEF by 2 okay so now the net effective depth is already calculated 6.73 now next step is for impact loading because the load is moving so we have to take the impact loading for the span less than 9 meter because we have 5 5 meter span so for the span less than 9 meter for the tracked vehicle 25 percent for the span up to 5 meter a linear reduction to 10 percent for span up to 9 meter so you can see we have 5.4 is the effective width so you can see effective so impact factor is calculated by this interpolation sheet 23.50 and l effective is 5.40 now we have to put we have already calculated all these values 1.if if IF is the impact factor w is the total load of these vehicles so total load is 350 plus 350 is 700 okay and BD width of the dispersion this is BD 6.73 and length of dispersion 4.812 so net live load intensity is 26.69 kN per meter square this is the formula the reactions RA and RB is the, this is the W live load 26.69 and this is the width of length of the dispersion 4.81 LD by 2 64.22 on each side live load bending moment by this formula RA into this L effective by 2 this is L effective you have to calculate the live load bending moment at the center so by this formula this is 96.13 now the total bending moment is dead load bending moment we have already calculated a dead load bending moment 54.61 and the live load bending moment so 150.74 is the total bending moment check for depth now check for depth uh, factor bending moment is 1.5 into m so for x u max by d for 415 is 0.48 now see D required is 256 and D provided is 490 and save area of the main tension steel by this formula MU 0.87 FY ASD D 1 minus FY upon FCK into ASD upon BD quadratic equation because ASD square will be there AX square BX plus C then uh, this sheet has calculated the constant values and ASD required is calculated by this formula so we have to take the smaller value it has already been taken AST minimum is by this formula is this much AST required maximum of above these two if we choose 20 mm dia now the spacing provided will be 230 mm so main steel is 20 mm at the rate 230 mm center to center area of distribution steel distribution steel by AS, ISC we have a formula 0.3 uh, live load movement and 0.2 dead load movement this is the total movement is required factor movement is this much if we choose 12 mm dia if you choose 12 mm dia AST is this much effective depth in case of distribution steel total effective depth minus dia uh, we have provided 20 mm 
minus uh, 12 by 2 then this is effective depth is 474 again there is a quadratic equation constant has already been calculated and the spacing provided is 320 mm so 12 mm dia 320 mm center to center ast provided is this much in the distribution steel so you can see the detailing in the main steel will be provided along the length this is 20 mm at the rate 230 mm center to center and distribution is still in this direction perpendicular direction to the length 12 mm dia at 320 mm center to center this is the cross section so friends if you like this video if you want this extra sheet please contact me on my mail id or whatsapp me on my number and this is very easy to use sheet and thanks for watching